good Thursday morning. I hope everybody's awake, well and happy. Happy to be awake. Thankful for another day, another opportunity to serve our Lord. Sitting here at 7 o'clock in the morning with the, the freezing rain falling. I hear it's pretty slick out there, so if you don't got to be out, stay indoors. You know, the good Lord give us common sense. Let's use it. You know, whenever it gets icy and slick, and you know you're going to fall down and go boom, stay in the house. Because you don't want to fall down and go boom. Hope our, I hope our, I hope all our power stays on. I hope you're doing well this morning, Miss Cindy Dyer. It's good to see you this morning. Good to see everybody this morning. I hope everybody's feeling good, feeling warm and safe indoors, and not out slipping and sliding all over the place. I'm going to share what the good Lord has laid on my heart this morning. A little something from Romans. Some pretty familiar scripture from Romans. Romans chapter 8. I'm going to read verse 31 through the rest of the chapter there at 39. So grab your Bible if you want to follow along. I'll give you a second to do that. I'll give you a second to grab it up there and open it up to Romans. The book of Romans, chapter 8. And I'm going to start at 31. I uh, can't remember which preacher it was I was listening to. But he was talking about how he had heard a preacher tell him one time whenever he was giving his scripture to always repeat it three times. That way everybody had an opportunity to get to where they were where he was going to be reading from. And to always just give a little space between each time that he gave the scripture. So at Romans chapter 8, we're going to start there at verse 31. So when you're ready, I'm going to start reading. So I'll give you a few minutes now, and I've repeated that three times, and even give you a little antidote in there. Not an antidote, an antidote, antidote. <laughs> not an antidote, but an antidote. Romans 8, 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give to us all things. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us who shall separate us from the love of Christ. Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or, or sword? As it is written, For thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. My favorite part of that. Is right here, verse number 37. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. We can overcome everything because of Jesus. Not that we do it ourselves, but it's Christ in us 
that allows us, through faith, to overcome any, any battle that comes before us. There will always be an escape through Jesus. And he will show it to you. Sometimes he'll show it to you before you ever come to the battle. And then he'll bring it back to your mind what that escape was. I'm so thankful that if we have faith in God's word, that we have no worries. We have nothing to be afraid of. We have no concerns in this world because God is going to provide. But we've got to have that unwavering faith, that steadfast faith. There's a solid reason that the, the, word, the words, fear not, are in the Bible 365 times. 365 times, the good Lord above tells us, fear not. One for every day. And you know, we do have that leap year every four years. There's where your faith comes in. And, you know, last year was leap year. Last year was a rough year. But you know who got us through last year? That's right, Phyllis. His time, not ours. That's where, that's where our faith comes in.
by faith. Faith will carry us through everything that we come up against just as long as we hold strong in that faith. We got to stand up. We got to we got to hold on to that that faith. That faith that makes us more than conquerors. We're more than conquerors. We we're going to overcome because we have Jesus in us. Jesus is living in us. And that's where you've got so much hope. Well, I'm glad you enjoy singing along, Cindy. You know, uh, the Bible says to make a joyful noise, and I always say to make a happy racket. So if you're making a joyful noise or a happy racket, the Lord's going to be happy with it. That's... It, God inhabits the praises of his people. You get to feeling lonely, you get to feeling down, lift up your voice and sing. I don't care if you're a singer or if you're not. Just lift up your voice and praise him and sing and worship the Lord and, and he'll be right there with you because he inhabits your praise. That's why he wants us to praise him. That's why he wants us to worship him. That's why he wants that relationship i don't know if you can see my shirt for the light but it says it's not religion and at the bottom there it says it's a relationship and it's got a picture of jesus and the cross here on it it's what we got to have people we can't have religion the pharisees were full of religion the sadducees were full of religion we got a relationship we got a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the man himself Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit, indwells us. God, the Father, Jesus, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are three as one. One and three. They're all the same. And we've got, we've got the Holy Spirit living within us. It's the righteousness of Jesus that's going to get us through. It's nothing that we can do on our own. It's that faith, that faith that we're living by. Man, I could sit here all day and just talk about that. God is so good to us. He's so good to us. Ah, I'm trying to think. I feel like singing another song, but I don't know what to sing. Let's flip the book. Let's flip a page or two and see what the good Lord shows us. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Why not Jericho? Let's talk. Faith. You think about Jericho and Joshua. Faith. God told Joshua to walk around the city of Jericho seven times on the seventh day. One time a day for seven days, but on the seventh day, you walk around seven times. Blow the trumpets and shout, and the walls are going to fall down. Joshua went out on faith because God had told him, be strong and courageous be strong and courage courageous courageous is a hard word to say for me for some reason faith will make you courageous faith will make you strong faith <laughs> All of my fears like 
Jericho walls got to come down, come down. All my fears, like Jericho walls got to come down, come down. Oh, oh. My prison turns to ruin when your love moves in. All of my fears, like Jericho walls got to come down. Before I ever called your name, you were fighting for my victory. Carved in your flesh and bone, the wounds that said my soul's forgiven. Oh, I can feel the darkness trembling. All of my fears, like Jericho walls, got to come down, come down. All of my fears, like Jericho walls, got to come down, come down. right down just like them Jericho walls praise the Lord praise the Lord Yeah, I do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm fine here. You got them fears and you don't know what to do with them. You don't know what I'm talking about when I say faith. Well, if you've been watching the blood of the Lamb, that's not what I'm wanting to say. If you've been washed in the blood of the Lamb, you know where I'm standing. All your fears are going to come down. I feel like there's something else. Somebody got a song that you want to hear this morning. There's something that I just, I, I don't know what, what it is. There's something, yeah. Let's do this one. I, just, I can't get finished today for some reason. There's something unsettled in here. How pretty. 
chains are gone I've been set free My God, my Savior's ransomed me And like a flood His mercy reigns Unending love Amazing posted there. I seen your little comment and yes, I will do grace. I will do grace because it's amazing what His grace has done for all of us. Yeah. 
the same as me Are you bought by the blood? Can you sing along with me? It's amazing what your grace done for me It's amazing what your grace done Thank you, Kayla. I needed that more than you did. Mm, 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 mm. It's amazing what His grace will do for us. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Glory to His name. Can you stand one more? Can you stand one more? I gotta sing glory to his name. I just, oh man. Glory to his name. I am so thankful for all that he does for me every day. I'm thankful for the fact that he he didn't take me out when he had the opportunity to twice. He could have took me home. First time wouldn't have been so good. Second time, I was ready, and I was, oh, I was ready. I wanted to go, but he said, no, I ain't done with you. I got something I need you to do, and praise the Lord, here I am. I'm here, and I'm going to say glory to his name. Because down at the cross where my Savior died, down where for cleansing from sin I cried.
that poor soul at the Savior's feet. Plunge in today and be made known. Glory to His name. Glory to His name. Glory to His name. There to my heart was the blood of Glory be to God. Glory to His name. Oh, praise the Lord. Lift Him up today. He inhabits your praise. He will be with you always. He will never leave you or forsake you. Unlike man who will fall short, God will always be there and He will always be able. He's willing. He's able. He wants to help us. He wants to to make us more than conquerors through His Son, Jesus Christ, who lives within us. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to find out. You need to find, you need to find, a, find, find the time today to hit your knees and say, Lord, show me the way. Show me where, where do I need to go. Forgive me for what I've done, Lord. Forgive me for my past. Lift me up. Make, make a way for me, Father. Glory to His name. My prayer for you today is if you don't know him, that you'll make things right with him today. Today is the day of salvation. None of us has pr promised another breath. Y'all, this is so important. None of us has promised another breath. We've got to make our way to the cross. Because hell's real. Hell's full of people that rejected Jesus. Not that he ever rejected anybody. It's not his will that any be lost. He would rather see you serving him in heaven than see you lost and burning forever in hell. He loved you so much before you were even born. He died on a cross for you and for me. So we can miss hell. So that we can be forever with him in heaven. Lifting him up and praising him. And singing joyous songs. and Forever. At peace forever. At peace forever. No more tor torments. No more struggles. No more pain. No more suffering. Think about it like this. This is as close to heaven as a sinner is ever going to get. But if you're saved, this is as close to hell as you'll ever have to be. Because what we've got waiting on us is far better than what we're going through right here on this earth. And we've got it pretty good here. Yeah, we have hard times from here and there, but, you know, we've got Jesus to get us through the hard times. Take the time today to make your way to Jesus if you don't know him. And if you do know him, praise him every chance you get. Shine that bright light for the Lord today. I love you and all. I hope everybody has a blessed day. Keep your smiles shining bright for Jesus because it's a foggy, dreary, cold, and rainy day. We're going to have to be bright for the Lord today to make up for it. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. We'll talk soon.